So uh, now we're ready to uh, cut our molding. And what I've been doing with those is I just take it down here to the tail vise and I do uh, both at one time, both boards. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna line them up in my tail vise. Be sure that the uh, gauge marks are aligned there and we look pretty good. And I'm gonna tighten that down, okay. So now uh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna start out with a jack plane right here and hog some of this waste off. If you'll notice too, I have, I think you can see, I have my front edge of each board facing out. Okay, we're planing into one front edge, but we can blow out up here. So you'll see me reverse some, I'll plane a little this way and come back. And what I'm doing is just trying to get some of this waste off. It's, you could do it all with a hollow, but you just don't want to. Take forever. And of course, it's doling out a, 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 a plane with a curved iron. So, which is hard to sharpen. So. so you see what I'm doing. I, I, this thing has a cambered iron, and you wouldn't think it would work <clears throat> very good on end grain, but... For just hogging off waste, it'll sure do it. it may not be very pretty, but it'll it'll do it. So there we go. I've got a good good bit of my waste out of the way. So now I'm going to move to this hollow plane here, and this is the number ten, I think, which, like I said earlier, means nothing. Uh, number ten between different planes can be different sizes. So. A little bit of tallow there to lubricate the plane. So now I'm gonna just start with my hollow here and I'm gonna work until this, I'm not gonna quite go to my gauge mark up here. I'm gonna stop just a little bit short of it. And then I'm gonna stop, there'll be just a tiny little flat left up here at the top edge, I hope. Okay, if you don't have a hollow, you don't want to find one, you could do, uh, I know the power tool folks, you know, uh, you can use a, uh, a router. But you can also use, uh, and I'll show you here in just a second, a block plane. Uh, once you get it kind of roughly shaped, uh, you can come back with a block plane, work it down, and then back the block plane where you're just taking little tiny shavings, and it leaves little facets, but you hit it with a little bit of sandpaper and that takes the facets off and uh, it'll work. You don't have to have the hollow. The only thing the hollow really does for you is just it gives you a, uh, you know, kind of nice roundosity with little effort. Um, it's faster is what it boils down to. So if you don't have one and don't want to find one, that's okay. Okay. So you see what I've got there. Let me tilt one of these up. We'll move up here. So uh, I've got that, you know, I've got a little flat left here. And what I'll do, even though I've done this with a hollow, it's kind of rough, it's in grain. And uh, so I'll hit this with a little sandpaper and as I do, I'll take that little flat that's left here. But I want to leave this gauge mark because that's, all, that's going to do another thing for us here in just a minute. So we'll move down here and just, because it was so much fun doing the first one, we'll do one more. It doesn't take long. It's, uh, and they don't have to be perfect. Um, just, uh, they're not, once everything's done, I really stressed over the first few of these I made trying to get them just identical. And uh, as long as they're close, you can't see it. I'm sure the originals are not perfectly the same.
So same thing, just getting uh, the worst of it off here. And you notice also a really major uh, important fact here, you notice I'm doing the end grain first. That way if I split out any right here, uh, when I come back and do the front edge, I'll take that any chipping I do off then. So do the do the end grain first for sure. Okay. And then you can uh, I was talking about doing it with a block plane there a minute ago. I've got this one set just about too shallow. And you can see right there, you can bring that around and clean it up pretty quick with a block plane. So, the hollow is, is, is a nice uh, way to do this, but it's not a have to way to do it. So. Okay, that's pretty good there. Hit it one more time right here. Okay. So now you can see what we've got here. We've got both, this is the back edge, which of course the front edge looks the same right now, but you can see our two little rounds there real simple real quick so uh, now I'm gonna deal with this front edge I'll move it up here maybe you can see a little better and uh, here again the same thing but this is long grain this time so it's it's easier so I'm just starting out with the jack plane take off uh, you know, some of that waste make our life a little easier later. And you see right there, you do pretty well. With, um, it wouldn't take long with just coming back to the block plane right there and you can, uh, you could fix that right up from there. Okay, so now we'll move to the hollow. And you can see it's much easier work along the grain. But the hollow will cut across the grain. You just saw it happen. Okay, so how do you know when you're done, when the two profiles kind of match? And I don't know if you can see it, but see right here where the two quarter rounds meet. When this line is looks straight, like a pretty much straight 45 down through there, that means both profiles are about the same. Um, but here again, it's not imperative. I mean, get close. Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't worry too much about that. I'll come back with a little bit of sandpaper and knock all the sharp corners off anyway. So if, they, if that line's a little squiggly, I don't worry about it. But these, uh, these look pretty good. So we got a good straight meeting point there. 
And so, uh, like I said, I don't know if you can see it, but there's our, our uh, profile on that. If you're interested in learning traditional woodworking, come take a class at our school in Earliesville, Virginia. You can also visit our website at woodandshop.com where you'll find a bunch of free woodworking lessons, workshop tours, and our very popular tool buying guides. And make sure you subscribe to our free newsletter to get our latest articles and videos. Enjoy!